I'll tell you, I'll say it here first. I will beat him. I'm gonna beat oh, him. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I, mean, I love I this guy. And, well, of course I'm gonna beat him. I just feel right now that I'm in just impeccable form. No. And the thing is, is if the match is close, like if that Dave Chafee match is any kind of an indicator, yeah. I'm going to beat him. If if it's anything, if, if he's anything like he was with Dave that day, I will beat him. Because when I pulled Dave, quite honestly, I could do anything I wanted with him. Anything. Um, and I knew that within the first round, it didn't matter. I could do any technique I wanted against any technique of his. It did not matter. So, and, and I'll tell you, it was, it looked close to me. Maybe, maybe Hermes was playing, but I don't think so. I talked to Dave. I actually, I sent Dave a message and I asked him, I said, I know you're hurt. I said, how much percentage did you lose? He told no, he, he, he thought he, was, he said it was pretty close. He said he was pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. All I hope is that it's clo like if if that match stops and we can arm wrestle, that's my hope because yeah. I believe when it comes to an arm wrestling match, I will beat him. If it comes to decision making and patience and taking opportunity i'm gonna beat him i'm gonna beat him so if that match is close in strength so long as i'm in that fight and once and once i get an advantage then i will test him we'll see who teaches who that day one of us will be the teacher yeah. um, sometimes the young man can teach the old man that he's not strong enough mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. if i get to teach Hermes. Believe me, I'll make it a good lesson. Today, my overwhelming feeling is yeah. that I'm just so happy that he said yeah. yes. And I have a shot at a world title. <laughs>